This is really fun. <laughs> I really don't know what I have, but this looks amazing. Underwater drones? Yes, please. It's always interesting to find new methods in photography and uh, try to do something new. Many years ago when we first had the drones, it was a revolution in a way and uh, it gave us a new perspective from the air to look down and uh, create all kinds of images. and. Uh, this time we got this diving drone and uh, I'm very interested in seeing how it's going to work. This is the first time we try it and uh, I look forward to see how it's going to benefit our photography. Me too. This will be interesting. The drone is called uh, Power Ray. It's from a company called Power Vision. And uh, from what I understand, it's, it's a good drone. It can take 4K video, it can take 12 megapixel photos. And uh, it's gonna be very interesting to try it out and uh, see how it works. Uh, have you asked the Puffins to pose for us? Uh, I'm 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 doing it now. You're asking them, yeah. okay. I'm sending them a message. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about this one? Do you, okay, this what do you do with this? this? This is a Wi-Fi. Okay. And uh, this is the controller and the, mm -hmm. when we are inland, yep. this is what communicates with something the drone. I will control. <laughs> you control everything on <laughs> anyway. I'm connecting the Wi-Fi. This is a Wi-Fi. So PRA station it's already connected. Okay. The app is connected so uh, I think we should just throw it in the water. Okay. And see what see how we can I'm handle looking it. forward to it. So the power ray yeah. got power from me. Oh, <laughs> just like me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. The drone already has a, a photo from a bro uh, it's receiving the signal. So, uh, give us in photos, give us there, and uh, everything's working. Okay. Whoa, nice image. <clears throat> At least I see something. I think it can go down to 30 meter, meters and uh, I also think, oh, how long is this? 60 meters. I yeah. So. Okay, how about going down now? Alright. Whoa, I see something. Okay. The bottom, I see it. And uh, can I hear it? See okay. It? There's a lot of rocks. Okay, it's green, blue. Okay. 
Okay, now how about find recording? something. Okay, I, I can see how it tilts. And uh, okay, this needs just practice. Okay, it's down. Yeah. And what do I see? I see a lot of. It's. Oh, we took a photo. Photo on the left side. I'm taking photos, but uh, I'm struggling with controlling it. I think it's obvious that uh, I need to practice. And, uh, whoa, and uh, how do you go? Wow, why? Oof, Einar, this was too fast. <laughs> uh oh. He did almost cut him. Now we are diving towards the rocks. Yeah, I just took a photo of a rock on the bottom. <laughs> so we're back from the sea and uh, it went pretty well. It's obvious that uh, this needs a little bit practice on, on a joystick and we're going to try a different location. Now this is something else. I'm at, I say a little pond with a lot of fish in, and uh, it's amazing what I see. A lot of fish, a lot of arctic char and rainbows. The trick is to practice, to get some shots. I can see that uh, it is possible to uh, maneuver the, the power ray quite easily when you, well, know what you're doing but it takes a little bit practice but it can hoover it can stay still which is fundamental for getting being able to frame a shot but this is actually just amazing nothing else I can take photos by pressing a button here it's very similar to uh, using a normal drone and I can change between video and uh, taking photos. A drone like this one can actually do what I, what I was hoping it could do, to uh, add, in a way, a new dimension to the photography. But it's just like with other cameras, it takes practice. But I can see that I'm going to use this more. As you might see here, there's a lot of fish in there. The delay is a little bit slow from the time that goes while you press the button, you want to get a photo, but you actually have to predict, maybe it takes maybe one or two seconds for the camera to uh, take the shot after you press the button. As I said, this is a 12 megapixel camera. It's a 4K video. And uh, we'll see if uh, the quality is good enough for uh, enlargements. I will uh, show you in a, in a moment what I have because uh, I haven't seen the photos on a big screen yet. So uh, I really don't know what I have, but this looks amazing. Underwater drones? Yes, please. Now, I will leave a link in the description of the video to uh, uh, the website where you can get more information about this drone. I have to say I really like it, but uh, it takes a lot of practice on this, just like with a normal drone. It's, it's, I would say it's a little bit more difficult to uh, maneuver this if you want to get a, a, an exact frame than controlling a normal drone for the air. But it goes by the same principles. So, everything's possible. At first I had problems with uh, staying at a certain depth, but it seems to be fine. What You have something called a hoover button here, and it, it works. I'm, it, it's like I'm just standing still in the water and uh, the fish are swimming by and I just have to grab the moment. 
I would say that for controlled circumstances and uh, for uh, uh, calm waters, it's possible to get nice shots with this. And I'm sure that the more we practice, Oof, this is really fun <laughs> on, on the controls. Well, the better the Oof. photos. It's like diving. Yeah, I've said that you can stay right here. Yeah.